Hi there! So these days I got a package from NYX Cosmetics and they sent me their new Zero to Brow gel which I want to test out on camera with you to see how I like it. I usually don't fill in my brows so I guess I'm just not the target audience <laughs> for this product but who knows? Maybe I will start filling in my brows. At the moment I did set my brows and I used the Got To Be Glued hair gel from Schwarzkopf. That's how I've been setting my brows for like at least three years now. I'm not sure when I started using that one, but I'm not going to any brow product at the moment. Nothing sets my brows like that hair gel does. And I want to test if the NYX brow gel can be used on top of the Schwarzkopf gel that I use to set my brows. Because if I can't use it on top of the Schwarzkopf gel, I just won't use it at all because I want my brows to be set uh, upwards like they are now. So I have three shades here. I have the shade Ash Blonde, Ash Brown and Black. And I've swatched one of them to see how the texture feels like. And uh, it's... I'm gonna show it to you. Uh, it's the shade Ash Blonde that I tried and I think this is the one that I'm gonna use because I don't like my brows to be too dark. So on one side it has a spoolie which can come in handy. I won't use it today because like I said I already set my brows. And on this side it has the actual brow gel with, which comes with a little applicator like that and the brow gel is in this tube. Oh, I didn't secure that lid. So I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna swatch the shades for you. Maybe uh, it, this will come in handy. So this is the shade Ash Blonde. And as you can see, it's a little bit sheer. So when I saw this big applicator, I was scared that this was really pigmented. And with this kind of applicator and a very pigmented brow gel, that would have been a disaster. But it has the right amount of sheerness, which is nice. The shade also has a really nice undertone because it doesn't lean orange, so it's a little more cool tone, which I can really appreciate. Let's see the shade Ash Brown. Ah, I'm doing this in, in my camera screen and it's a little bit confusing. Okay, Ash Brown. I'll look at it. Am I crazy? Why does this look a little bit lighter than Ash Blonde? I guess I just applied a little too much of the Ash Blonde. Let me just spread it a bit, I guess. Oh well, I don't know, they look pretty similar to me. I mean, now that I sheared the Ash Blonde a little bit, it does look like Ash Brown is a little bit darker. Just a tiny bit. Not a huge difference though, <laughs> they look pretty similar. And let me swatch the shade black as well. Okay, this is definitely a little bit darker than the other two, but again it's not uh, overwhelmingly dark. But especially if you have darker skin, darker eyebrows, I guess this would, this will be uh, nice. Today I think I'm gonna go for Ash Blonde. Let's see how that goes. So it says that you are supposed to wait like 60 seconds and then it's transfer proof. So I'm gonna just test it on my hand to see. Okay, yeah, it definitely is. I'm rubbing really hard right now absolutely nothing comes off and it says that you can wear it multiple days like if you avoid your brow area when you cleanse and do your skincare and stuff which is amazing okay let's start the application where's my ash brown ash no not ash brown i'm gonna use ash blonde let's see i hope it layers well with my brow gel otherwise we're gonna have a problem i'm gonna wipe this really well so it applies evenly and I'm just going to use the tip of it no oh, actually it's really nice I can uh, I think it layers well with my brow gel it just adds a little bit of fullness to my brows I didn't really find a product that works well um, with the gel that I use and uh, I just don't feel in my brows at the moment maybe maybe this has a chance let's see I'm gonna use a bit in the front ah 
not that much. <laughs> so the product distribution is a little bit weird with this one because you have to be careful on how much you pick on this uh, applicator. I suggest you wipe it off a little bit before uh, applying to your brows. I feel like this adds the right amount of fullness especially in this blonde shade it's not too overpowering it might use this constantly if I'm not too lazy to do anything more to my brows than setting I actually really really like this and the longevity unmatched like I can do this to my brows and nothing comes off I won't rub really hard because they're set right now and I don't want to ruin that but this is really nice. So yeah, that was my little try-on. I don't think an wear test is necessary. Like, it, the fact that it's transfer-proof says enough to me. But let me know what you think. Have you tried this? I think it's a really cool product. Anyway, let me know what you think. And what's your favorite brow product or brow routine that you use? Because uh, I'm curious. I don't think I'm going to change mine, but let's discuss. <laughs> I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye!